right, shalom, good morning. Paul Ash from the Covenant, yeah? Been busy. Been extremely busy on the land. Uh, it's interesting because uh, since I've gotten back from a trip out of town, I primarily have been on the land, uh, complete projects and getting things done. But the garden, which is coming out so beautifully, uh, you know, I mean, we're just going to have a bumper crop this year. As well developing clients in that area covenant pharmacy is up and running and it's just a beautiful thing uh, and i'm uh blessed to the father for it you know, i really just do thank uh, the father for blessing the labor of our hands but looking at what's going on in the world and you know when it comes to overall inflation now we, we have to understand that inflation is defined, defined not by the increase in pli prices, but the increase in money supply. And once you understand that inflation is defined as the increase in money supply, then you get it. Then your perspective changes. And this is why the average American does not understand what tr what truly is going on in today's society and what's happening with their currency. They're totally oblivious with all of the information. It seems that knowledge has increased greatly, but stupidity has as well. We're living in an age of idiocracy, no doubt about it, no doubt about it. Uh, the average person is just simply blind to what's going on. You got people at gas stations filling up plastic bags with gas. Uh, this is your average American running around. It's a shame. You got wood prices going up, which we've been talking about. Uh, you know, I've been talking about wood prices and the fact that you need to be going out and storing wood. So this is why I don't invest in cryptos because I'm investing in wood. I'm investing in ammo. I'm investing in sheetrock. I'm investing in screws. Um, I'm investing in metal. That's where I put my money. Because when you have a piece of paid for land, it, you know, it's a cash, it, you know, it's, 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 a, it's a money pit. Uh, it, it, because you have to constantly be developing that land. So therefore, uh, you have to make sure that you're getting the materials necessary in order to cultivate that land. Now, it just doesn't happen, you know, forever unless you're constantly expanding. But if you want to get it to a certain point, you're going to need these resources. So looking at gas prices and uh, just like I've done wood and I've been telling people uh, that own land, invest in wood, two by fours, two by sixes, pressure treated wood and everything, because I have a plethora of that stuff on the land now. And I'm in the process of using that stuff, whether it. Uh, be uh, pressure treated wood that I've taken out from decks I'm using that stuff all of that stuff is there and so now I have to start using it but again back to gas prices don't you realize that gas is cheaper now than it was about 7-8 years ago no probably like 8 years ago ch cheaper I remember a video that I was just looking through. I was looking through some SD cards and, and was looking at some videos that I did many years ago. And I took a picture of the local gas station. It was like $2.90, $3.01. Now people are clamoring and stuff about high gas prices, but these ain't high grass prices because they've printed so much currency and we have such a glutton of gas on the market, it seems like it's had gas prices as opposed to a year ago, but when you look back 10 years, if you look at a graph of gas prices, gas is actually cheap now. Uh, am I panicking? Nope. Uh, have I gone out and gotten extra gas? Just to, no. I mean, I have to go ahead and fill up my tank as usual, and this costs some more to fill up my tank, but you know, I you, simply, I, I just transfer those costs to clients because I have to go and uh, uh, transport material. I'm going to be starting a, a, a flooring project next week. But 
I transfer those costs right to the client. I'm looking at gas prices in the town that I'm in now, 289, I'm looking at uh, Casey's, 289 a gallon. That's about the same that it was when I made that video. And I think I may do a cut uh, and paste just to show you what I'm talking about. But you ain't seen nothing yet in terms of gas prices. You really haven't. Um, food. No, I mean, it's it's a beautiful thing to be able to open up the freezer and go and get some venison and go and get some lamb or go and get some goat. And I got to start doing some fishing. I know where to catch fish. I know where to fish. We just haven't had the time to go out there and get it done. But uh, to go out to the garden and, and get some fresh uh, uh, collard greens and kale and lettuce and, and go ahead and, and put that right on the plate and just eat healthy because, you know, that food harvested directly from the garden and then right into the plate, man, that's where you get the biggest bang for your buck. We've planted a whole bunch of corn because corn price is going up 50%. It's a <laughs> We're planting a boatload of corn this year. Uh, so we don't have to deal with these prices. We don't have to deal with all this inflation. We're shielded from it. Right now, I'm on my way to Lowe's. Uh, the manager called me up, said that he got a whole bunch of sheetrock for me uh, to pick up. So I said, a sheetrock, I need about 50 more pieces of sheetrock. And uh, now I'm down to about 25 more pieces of sheetrock that I need. But this is what I'm talking about. Uh, being prepared and understanding what's really going on with this increase in the money supply and I was just going to break the average American. You know, it's going to deal with all the Jezebels and Ahabs. Inflation is going to. It's going to deal with all of the high-minded, vanity, haughty people out there. It's going to deal with all of that stuff. Uh, and this is what I like about inflation because it's going to bring the reality of the current situation in this country to the average person that wants to stick their head in the sand and act like uh, nothing is going on because more and more, People are looking at uh, uh, folk like me and saying, mm, yeah, I was a kook and I was a crackpot before, but now I'm looking pretty wise today. I'm looking pretty informed today. And I'll tell you about the, the phone calls that I get from people. What should I do now? What should I do now? What I've been telling you to do. But now for many, it, it seems to be, it's going to be too late. It's sad. But This is the world that we live in. And they're loading out lows. I have to get into the contractors area. Hey. But this is what's going on today. I'm going to be taping live uh, and pre recorded broadcasts from my studio uh, that I've just now gotten done. I'm looking forward to that. Man, it's nice. I'm looking forward to doing that. But this is what it's about. Uh, investing in real skills and investing in, in yourself so that you don't have to deal with uh, the things that's coming up on this world today that you and your family can be taken care of and you don't have to be uh, running around. Because you know, and it said in the last days, many show how their hearts failed them for fear. Fear. And y'all didn't give you a spirit of fear, but of power, love, and sound mind. Are you walking in power, love, and sound mind? I am. What about you? Shalom.